McLaren hasn't won a Formula One race since 2012, but it remains one of the most successful and popular teams in the championship's history. McLaren has taken eight constructors and 12 drivers' championships since it arrived in F1 in 1966, and its 182 race victories puts it second only to Ferrari in terms of success. Which means there are plenty of great machines to choose from when picking out the best McLaren F1 cars of all time. And to celebrate the launch of their 2021 contender, the MCL 35M, we've put together our top five McLaren F1 cars, considering each car's success, innovation, and basically how cool we think it is. If you fancy a read of a longer list, you can read our top 10 McLaren F1 cars over on autosport.com. Just click the link in the video or in the description. Here's our top five McLaren Formula One cars. Number five the McLaren Honda MP4-5. McLaren's 1989 season is best remembered for the increasingly toxic relationship between Ayrton Senna and Alain Prost, their Suzuka clash, and the subsequent controversy. And that tends to overshadow the fact that the MP4-5 was a great McLaren. In raw pace terms, it was almost as far ahead of rivals as its fabled predecessor, the MP4-4. But it wasn't as reliable. Engine and transmission issues, as well as some incidents, limited the MP4-5 to only 10 wins from 16 races, as McLaren stormed to another title double. The revised MP4-5B faced tougher opposition from Ferrari, now with Prost in red, but its powerful Honda V10 engine, not to mention another controversial Senna Prost crash at Suzuka, helped McLaren to another title double. The model's final tally was 16 wins and 27 poles from 32 outings, along with four championship successes, scored at a time when McLaren's opposition was getting stronger. Number 4. McLaren Mercedes MP4-13 In 1998, McLaren and Ferrari were truly in a class of their own. McLaren took the Constructors' title with 156 points to Ferrari's 133 and while the rest of the field only managed 127 points between them. The MP4-13 was the first McLaren designed by Adrian Newey, and after lapping the opposition in the first race of the season, it was met with increased scrutiny. Despite the FIA giving McLaren the all-clear during winter testing for the asymmetric braking system, following campaigning from Ferrari, the braking system was deemed illegal, and the brakes were removed from the car. Despite that, McLaren remained the dominant force in the first year of the narrow car groove tie regulations. The MP4-13 took 12 of the first 13 poles of the season and ultimately ended the team's seven-year wait for a title, Hakkinen adding the driver's laurels to the constructors' success. Number 3. McLaren Honda MP4-4 A fan favourite and possibly the most famous of all McLarens, the MP4-4 won 15 from 16 races in 1988, with Senna and Prost fighting an epic title battle well clear of the rest. The Honda-powered car's raw pace advantage was greater than any other McLaren in World Championship history and was beaten to pole only once. Its efficiency in races was rarely matched and it was reliable, scoring 10 1-2 finishes. Senna's drive to clinch his first title at Suzuka was also one of his greatest. The only reasons the MP4-4 isn't higher on this list are because the opposition it was facing was weaker, reigning champion Williams in particular being hamstrung by naturally aspirated Judd V8 power, and it wasn't particularly innovative, turbo cars being outlawed for 1989. Nevertheless, Neil Trundle, former chief mechanic to Senna, insists the MP4-4 is the perfect package still the lowest and sleekest looking car on display at the HQ. Number 2. McLaren Ford M23 This was the first McLaren to win an F1 crown, and it took 16 victories and 3 championships in its long career. If you include its non-championship wins, it's the second most successful F1 McLaren and is certainly one of the most significant. Designer Gordon Cuppock applied Colin Chapman's thinking with the Lotus 72, with a wedge shape and side radiators, and his experience from his McLaren M16 IndyCar to create the M23, which took a sensational pole on its debut at the hands of Denny Hulm. The M23 should perhaps have won more races during its first season in 1973, but the arrival of Emerson Fittipaldi the following year raised the team's game. Combined with bad luck for the revitalised Ferrari, 
That was enough to secure both championships in 1974. Ferrari got its act together in 1975, but there was still time for another title challenge with the M23. After Fittipaldi left, the rapid James Hunt stepped in and took a dramatic driver's crown in 1976, following an epic battle with Lauda at Ferrari, and Hunt took the ageing car to two poles early on in 1977. Number 1. McLaren Tag MP4-2 The perfect combination of Barnard's carbon fibre monocoque and Coke bottle design, the Tag-badged Porsche engine, fuel management system by Bosch and tyres from Michelin resulted in McLaren's first period of true F1 domination. Everything learned from the MP4-1 was incorporated into the design. Dennis had persuaded Porsche to re-enter F1 and there was backing from Marlboro. Lauda and Prost put on a private contest for the 1984 world title, scoring 12 wins from 16 races as the Austrian famously beat his younger French teammate to the title by just half a point. The package, developed over a three-year period, took both titles again in 1985, now with Goodyear rubber, and was still good enough in 1986 for Prost to score a superb second driver's crown against the more rapid William Hondas. The MP4-2's final tally of 22 Grand Prix victories and five championships is unmatched in McLaren's history, and for that reason, it sits in our number one spot. Do you agree with our top five? Did we miss out your favourite McLaren F1 car in our list? Let us know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos.